Hi guys, welcome back to Flackbox channel. I'm Shaina and I'm here on this channel to do a series of vlog about my journey in reviewing for the Cisco CCNA. If you're new to our channel or if you just found this video somewhere, please support us by liking this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you'll be updated whenever I posted a new video. And still guys, I'm on the second round of my review, taking alpha prep quizzes, doing lab exercises on the packet tracer, and getting familiar with the concepts. And it's very obvious on the title what this video is all about. Yes guys, I wanna be honest with you, as the time goes by, I think I'm kinda losing my confidence in taking the CCNA exam while I am on the middle of the process. I think I'm losing confidence now to take the CCNA exam. If you remembered on my previous video that I target to take the CCNA exam in the middle of August but it didn't happen and now it's already month of September. I'm still on the second round of my review and I am looking forward to rush the review so I can take it in the middle of October. I don't know if it will be changed depends on the progress or depends on the result of my alpha prep quizzes but I want to take the CCNA exam this year because I have so many plans by next year. I know you're thinking right now, what's wrong? What's going on with me? What is really happening? Is there something wrong with my materials or resources? There is no problem with my materials or resources. All of the things that I needed was already provided to me by our instructor. The problem is with me guys. It's my attitude. I'm losing focus. There are a lot of things that is going on on my mind and there are topics that I haven't digested yet. If you remembered on my story, I'm not really inclined in IT. I took up electronics engineering and I'm more on electronics. And I'm starting to divert into IT because this is the field where I am right now. And the reason why I really want to pass the CCNA exam because I'm seeing a bright future there. I'm seeing an opportunity that will happen in the future if I will pass it. In this way guys, I can have the chance to build my career in this field where I am right now. I love what I am doing and I love what I am learning. And I'm learning a lot of things in the networking world. And maybe I just need a little time to digest the topics and to get familiar with some terminologies, especially those topics on programming languages, cloud computing. On the second round of my review guys, I am now more focused than before. I actually set aside my other activities just to give way on this review. And the problem is with me, what I am seeing is there are still 50% of the topics that I need to re-review again. Now, I have a question for you. I wanna know, it's just a survey, but will somehow helps me. I just wanna know how long did you review for the season A exam? Let me know guys on the comment section. How long is your preparation for the season A exam? How long did you prepare for the season A exam? I asked my friends who already took it they told me it took them one year, nine months, ten months. And I'm just curious, how about you guys? How long did you actually review for it? I just want to show you guys the comprehensive analysis of my progress on Alpha Prep. As you can see guys, it's all color red, color orange. There is topic which is color green, IP access, control list and this is a poor percentage guys this is bad i want to achieve a green color here i want to see a good 
progress here i want to tell to myself that i am really really ready to take the season a exam you know this alpha prep test engine really helps me this is my best friend now on this second round of my review if i don't have this alpha prep test engine today guys i may be on some dump websites or websites that showing dump season a question and answers maybe i will be get lost and i will just get random reviewers from a different people my mind might be loaded with information but because of this alpha prep test engine it really helps to filter just the needed information or the needed topics that i need to focus and that's all for my video guys don't worry i will try my best to gain my confidence i will do my best on this review so i can gain that confidence and let me know guys your thoughts on the comment section maybe you have some inspiring story you can share it with me and also you can connect with me on my linkedin account you can also send me personal message on my linkedin and if you want to give me insights or private suggestion on the videos that i am doing feel free to send me a personal message on my linkedin account and guys also please don't forget to follow flashbacks on our different social media accounts all the links to that are also on the description below make sure to check that out and i mentioned the alpha prep test engine if you want to take advantage of this you can go to flackbacks.com slash alpha prep and also don't forget to take advantage of the free lab exercises guide on the packet tracer by flackbacks those are the tools that i am using right now guys and what else that i would like to say is see you on my next video